hello there guys it is Kimber stopping in and checking in on you today so glad that you have chosen to stop in and check on me it is St. Patrick's Day well it may not be now but it is now <laughs> anyway uh, I want to thank you all so much I greatly appreciate all the support and the comments that you guys have been leaving like I said in my previous videos I really miss that uh, it just seems like the kind of community, the keto community that we had um, probably about this time last year was so huge and now it's just slowly dwindling down and I'm not really sure what's going on people, but I miss you guys. I miss the interaction, um, but I notice I do have some, some regulars that are commenting, so I greatly appreciate that. You do not know how much, um, but anyway, today is St. Patrick's Day and I am Irish. Um, so that was kind of a fun thing for me. I, I don't drink, so, um, you know, there's not going to be any green beer and, you know, things like that. But um, I did make a staple um, that is very common in the Irish community, and it's corned beef and cabbage. And I know that a lot of people make this, and it's nothing big. Or uh, when I told my husband I was going to make corned beef and cabbage, he he was like, "Okay, well, let's go get the corned beef." And he went down like the aisle where the tuna and all that stuff is, and he was getting canned corned beef. I'm like, "No, no, no, we don't, we don't do that." And he was like, "But that's what I like." And I'm like, "Oh Lord." So anyway, um, I have that video for you, but I just wanted to show you guys. I am trying to be a little bit festive here with my. My colors, I don't know if you guys can see. I've got my little leprechauns on. Got my green eyeshadow, eyeshadow going. This lipstick, I don't know about. It makes my teeth look really gray, and I don't know why, but not a fan. So I'm going to be going back to my Kat Von D. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my recipe, and I'll check back in with you guys at the end of it, okay? All right. Okay, guys. First things first is you take your corned beef, and this is just a regular corned beef that I got from Walmart, and I have put it in a roaster pan with some water. With the corned beef, there actually is a little seasoning packet. Um, and I'm just gonna pour that on top of the corned beef. Um, and then I'm gonna place this in the oven at 325 degrees for two hours. Once that gets done, I have the actual vegetables that I'm putting in. And I have one large head of cabbage. I do have five carrots. Now, if you're very strict keto and you don't want to do carrots, you could definitely omit them. And also, I do have one red onion that I'm going to be putting in here too. Um, and this is going to be the full ingredients. With corned beef, you do not need to add additional salt because it is actually brined in salt, so it's very salty. So I have five carrots, one large head of cabbage, one red onion, one corned beef with the seasoning packet, and I'll check in with you guys when I put the vegetables in. Okay guys, so the corned beef I had in the oven at 325 with the lid on for two hours. Um, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take some of my, my vegetables here. Ooh, I don't wanna get burnt. And I have a <laughs> huge bowl here of the carrots and onion, uh, carrots and cabbage. Let me go ahead and put that in for you. Well, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted. I had a lot of extra cabbage left over, so I'm just going to stick this in a spot bag and have some fried cabbage this week with my meals. I also had some carrots left over. I'm going to eat some with ranch just a little bit. And this is what I've put in. And the corned beef is completely covered underneath there. But I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on it. Um, you do move it up to 350 degrees from the 325 and you let it cook for an hour. So I will check in with you guys later. Okay, guys. So the corned beef and cabbage is done. So in total, it cooked for three hours. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up and show you guys the finished product. Okay guys, so finished product. I got some corned beef and cabbage, uh, a couple of carrots in there. I did put some parsley on top of my corned beef and some pink Himalayan salt just in case. I know corned beef is already pretty salty, but it has been cooking. 
So just want to make sure. But that is going to do it, guys. So that is my recipe on corned beef and cabbage. Uh, it's great for St. Patty's Day. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you make it, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I enjoy those. I like conversing with you people. Um, comments have been very low lately but i think that that's a trend across all of youtube right now but um i miss you guys so yeah please leave me a comment below okay so the corned beef and cabbage was so good it was really 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 good there are a few different things though that i would change about it um i would not have put as much water in my roaster pan and then also with the vegetables i would have seasoned those up a little bit more um just because they really did not absorb a lot of the salt from the corned beef like i thought um it was really good though my husband ate every bit of it and you know that to me was a shocker because I me mean, usually he'll eat just the meat but he ate the cabbage and he ate everything the onions and the carrots he really ate everything and it was so good and it felt so good to cook again, um, you know, where I'd been doing carnivore and, you know, things like this. It was just cooking meat and not really getting in the kitchen to cooking anything. And then, you know, I started doing some of the AIP stuff uh, for the autoimmune protocol, autoimmune paleo. And I started just really missing food, guys. And I remember back in the beginning when I started keto, I was so excited about the food that I was eating and I was losing weight and I was feeling great. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, let's just change this up, you know? And I'm just like, so I started changing things up and I think I kind of wrecked myself a little bit. And I'm not even going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I, I definitely know that keto is great for me and I, I feel the best when I eat keto. I did have some of those carrots. And as far as dairy, I'm not going to be partaking of dairy, um, like in cheese form. But I did have some of those carrots left over. And I may or I may not have found my way into ranch dressing. I did. I found my way into ranch dressing and I had ranch dressing with carrots. And it was amazing. Amazing. I have not had ranch dressing in probably a month and a half to two months. Um, it was so good. And then earlier in the day, and I didn't show you guys that, as I had the rest of that cowboy ribeye left over, and I decided to eat that. So that's all I've had for today. And um, that's going to do it for me. I'm not going to keep you guys on here and keep talking. Even though I know sometimes people really like people that just sit and talk. And I just can't do it sometimes. Just can't. I went ahead and got all purdy up for you, though, and put my hair up and put my makeup on just to do a video. That's 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 the truth. <laughs> so, anyway, ah, oh, I, I appreciate you guys so much. So, if you are new to my channel, welcome so much. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, that bell notification will alert you when I post up new videos. Please like, please like and comment on my videos. I mean, even if you don't have anything to say, just say hi. I mean, just say something. Um, I like knowing that people are watching, you know. I mean, I get views and things like that, but it's like, it's not, I don't know. I don't know. It's just kind of discouraging sometimes when you don't see the interaction that we used to have. So, if you're still here with me and you're still watching me, leave me some comments just to say hi. Just to say hi so I know that you're there. But anyway, I will quit begging you for friendship. <laughs> so bad. Ah, begging for friendship. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.